Well, hello, it's good to be able to share with you again today. Um, only one announcement, that is this Friday, there's a national day of prayer and we're taking part in that. You can zoom in at seven o'clock on Friday morning, at two o'clock on Friday afternoon and seven o'clock Friday evening. That's just for one half hour at each of those, seven, two and seven. But we'll be joining with people right across the nation, praying for our leadership, praying for our national health, praying for the church in the land, and particularly praying us through the COVID crisis. So please join us. It's half an hour. You don't have to pray, but it's great if you do. It'd be good to see you there. Thank you. We hope you appreciated yesterday, Remembrance Sunday. It was a very special day. We had a good service in the morning and I deeply valued the Woodbine Willie story that we showed on Sunday evening. War. It's a terrible, terrible thing. And I want to tell you about a prince who was a victim of war. This young prince lost his grandfather and his father in a war. When they found out about it, they feared for his life, especially as his uncle was immediately assassinated. They expected that the new king, the king who'd come through all the battles and was now on the throne, would immediately get rid of this prince. And in their haste to get him out of the palace, out to safety, they dropped him. They dropped him so badly that both his feet were crippled. Time passed. This young prince, this victim of the war, was kept safe, kept hidden. Then one day the new king asked, is there anyone, anyone from the old king's family, from my friend, the prince who died, from his family, is there anyone that I can care for? You see, King David loved King Saul who'd been killed in battle. He loved Saul's son, Jonathan, who'd been killed in battle so much that he wanted to honor them and their family. And so he asked and they found this young crippled prince and brought him into the court of King David. Every single day, Ishbosheth, that was his name, came into David's courts and sat at the meal table, probably using sticks so you'd hear the click, clack, and then the scrape of both feet as this injured young man made his way to the table, a cripple in the court of the king, broken but welcomed. And I can't help think that that's just like me. I'm broken, always have been. So much inside me that I know still needs to be mended and put right. But every single day, King Jesus welcomes me into his presence welcomes me into his courts, just like David welcomed Ishbosheth. Jesus welcomes me and he welcomes you too. So come on in, enjoy his presence, enjoy his love. God bless you.